everybody how are you doing today i hope all of you are having an amazing blessed beautiful abundant day you know whenever you are gonna watch this whenever you are gonna find this video so first of all uh i want to thank everybody who has been supporting me and yes uh, as you know the energies has have been too intense and i have noticed that my voice uh, you know it has been shaking in my readings for, and i feel anxious for no reason like there is no specific reason for me to feel this way and later on yesterday night i came across with tiktok post uh, about a person asking the other uh, you know gifted people star seeds that you know do you feel the same way that i feel like what's going on and about a week ago um, i uh, i have watched uh, one of my most you know like he's my most favorite and uh, astrologist who i always trust because his predictions and you know like he's a very beautiful person i wish he could uh, post his posts in english language okay yeah and he warned people about all those chaotic energies people are gonna feel in uh, certain ways first of all the jupiter retrograde so many people are gonna feel like they want to set free they want changes happening they feel like uh, they are feeling stuck they feel like you know they are being caged you know if, you know i have been feeling this way like i want to i feel like i am cage right now you know like something within me wants to set free you know <laughs> yeah and i was describing my mo mom that you know i feel like there is something living within me like wants to tear my body out and set itself free you know and so uh saturn is in retrograde mercury is you know um almost uh, is you know going direct and you know this shadow um, phase is almost over you know like people are gonna still affects mother earth has been too intense and um the frequency has been too intense lately and uh, i feel like one of the reasons me feeling those intense energies is me always meditating and affirming that um, my heart connects to the heart of gaia you know doing mother earth healing and I have started healing her energy on me as well. So, and Mars in retrograde, I feel like, or in some lower position, and people are gonna feel aggressive, you know, people may get in conflicts for no reason, you know, and also it can affect uh, people's, in, you know, intimate lifestyles as well, you know, not feeling so passionate enough, not feeling like, I think I don't feel, I'm not in a mood kind of a way all of a sudden, you know, it's all about planetary, you know, I don't want to blame the planets, but it seems like it is, you know, there is some kind of a vibration, you know, in this universe. So uh, today I felt called to do like general message for the star seeds, for my soul family, for all the beautiful people who have sensitive hearts, who have sensitive souls, who or have been feeling those energies intense, you know, intensely the way I did and I do, you know, and let's you know i'm gonna go with the flow see what's coming and i really don't know how it's gonna turn out to be honest because i always uh, shuffle on the camera you know and also um what i was gonna say <laughs> yeah let's see uh, i i'm gonna set an intention for the weekly message for my uh, collective energy star seeds you know whoever the message is gonna meant to find okay yeah and if if those messages resonate with you please let me know because it's my first ever time that i'm gonna do such readings okay and yes be blessed my loves and be patient okay <laughs> let's uh, clear out the you know clear out the energies and cards firstly okay So, 
let's clean out the images of the cards. If you want to skip those cleansing part, you can. I'm gonna put a timestamp uh, timestamp below, okay, on the description or you know. If you would love to skip this part, it's okay, okay. Some of you may receive a love offer very soon, okay. Somebody, it feels like ha is having crush on you, my group, uh, <laughs> my group, my collective people, okay, watching this. Let's see. I'm leaving it here. So, I actually want to begin my reading firstly with those yoga decks. I don't know if some of you know about this deck or not. So, before even having my own channel, when I was going through, you know, heavy energies, you know, um, I had to repair and rejuvenate my energy. I always uh, had been shuffling and asking the universe for the affirmations. You know, what should I focus on? What should I tell the universe? Please, universe, guide me. And always all the, uh, you know, um, let's say, um, all the uh, necessary, you know, relevant affirmation had come for me. And believe it or not, always recording my voice and affirming the positive affirmations truly truly has you know changed my life for the positive and today i want to ask for my collective energy universe please universe for my star seeds what the messages what the affirmations you have for my star seeds universe om is the sound of all sounds it's the sound of of the universe the sound of creation and the beginning of life, okay? So, I am part of life's joyful sound. It feels like for my collective, the universe is telling you that we all are one, you know? Some of you could be, get, you know, some people could be raising their vibrations, you know, also you know, it's the crown chakra, it's the energy of gifted people, it's the energy of people who are always and connected to their higher self and the universe, you know, who are operating from the oneness and infinite mindset, right? Yes, it's all about, I feel like, surrendering, first of all, and embracing the joy and being in the present moment also, and having the joy of the soul's journey, you know? Let's see, oh, I love this. I am at peace, all is well in my world. Embracing the energy of peace. I feel like most of us, most of you, my star seeds, okay? Most of you are gonna embrace the energy of peace and are gonna feel more even grounded okay energetically and having this faith that everything happens for a specific reason and and everything in life turns out in your favor okay the universe protects and nurtures me i am secure and loved all right i love this so Look at this, how many universal signs we have here. And child, some of you <clears throat> in this upcoming week may be needing to connect to your inner children, all right? You know, um, connecting to your heart space as well. And also, maybe it's the message for the, from the universe for you, for all of us as the collective that you know, we are her children, you know? Oh, you are always blessed, you are always protected and nurtured, you know? And I feel like if some of my babies are having mother issues, and, you know, if some of you had never felt the warmth and nurture of the mother figure of your life, it's the calling that 
divine mother loves you okay and i don't know why i'm feeling emotional right now you are always safe you know you can always trust the divine okay and you can always believe that you are being nurtured and protected no matter what sometimes if, uh, sometimes certain things may seem hard and painful for you emotionally especially in regards to the people who we have feelings for but never getting a chance to be with them and i personally had so many uh, you know personal lessons that those people were not so serving my highest good if those people had the purest intentions in the heart for me towards me the universe would never ever let me be uh, you know be lonely or feel lonely and you know um <clears throat> never let me you know uh stay single instead of being happily in love you know I feel like sometimes we may not see those energies but everything in life truly truly happens for our highest good especially if you consider yourself as a light worker as a star seed you know uh, yes I feel like uh, what I'm picking up from those uh, this energy some of you I feel like had learned how to be uh, self-reliant and provide the sense of security for yourself i feel like some of you had been forced to be the mother and parental figure for yourself because you never felt this warmth you know like you are a divine child regardless you know i am always grateful for the mothering energy the universe has always shown to me and that's why this channel's name is the heart of cosmos that's why you know I have always believed and I still do believe that you know I have always been treated like a the you know this star baby let's say <laughs> you know I am being called to yes proud warrior yes you are a warrior my loves okay I am confident and focused drawing on my inner strength it feels like you are gonna feel uh, more empowered in this upcoming week, okay? And feeling secure and protected. Have, building this trust with the divine even more and trusting the flow, alright? And yes, you are being more confident. I feel like also the energy of safety and security is the vibration of the root chakra, okay? Trust issues, okay? Uh, and yes and I feel like some of you are gonna balance out or feel more grounded energetically okay and for some of you could be even money coming for you okay and it's I feel like the overall message is that be confident see your own value through my eyes the way i see you as somebody who is perfect okay and my actions are purposeful and my thoughts are clear again crown chakra energy i feel like and 11 some of you could be seeing 111 also uh 12 tw uh, 21 222 1212 kind of an energy okay and i allow my inner beauty to shine forth again feel confident you are gonna i feel like some of you could be going through uh, you know glow up okay uh, again let your inner beauty to shine and radiate on your physical beauty you know like let let yourself shine let yourself glow okay and trust yourself have confidence be bold you know yes and all those overwhelming feelings emotions uh, you know thoughts are gonna be released this upcoming week you are gonna feel more confident especially i personally had been truly feeling this intense energies on my heart chakra and the solar plexus uh, those two chakras had been 
hit by those energies too much you know like in intensely i had been feeling those energies it feels like those uh, energies will be cleared out released you are gonna em embrace the energy of peace you know everything is gonna turn out you know uh, go back to the peaceful state uh, of energy okay and i love this i love this So let's see what the upcoming week is gonna bring to my star seeds, my divine soul family universe. What this upcoming week is gonna bring, don't them to fit in. Yes, be confident, being unapologetically yourself. I am who I am. I am a divine being and also third eye awakening. Okay, you are gonna start again. Uh, firstly, building trust with your inner self, building trust with your, uh, uh, you know, intuition, then building trust with the, building trust with the divine and, you know, the universe, flow of life, and the sleep of faith. You go first. The universe will catch you. Look how many universal energies are here today. Like, don't ever feel alone. Okay. Where I where are you being called to journey to? Birth in a new age, yes. Align your life, answer the call. Yes, again, I feel like it's all about tr uh, starting to trust what you are hearing, what you are feeling, what your intuition is telling you, and not ignoring, you know and longing for home belonging to the original light workers okay so some of you i feel like could be uh, finding or coming across with your soul tribe this upcoming week okay and look at this the initiation uh, yes it, look at like i love this uh, picture because there is this darkness and light in the end of the tunnel you know the upcoming week is leading you towards the light you know all those overwhelming energies are you know um and wait postpone pause say no okay so yes some of you could be feeling like the energies are not moving as fast the energies are not progressing the way you would want them to uh progress let's say you know moving faster maybe uh you, some of you could be feeling like you know um some of you could be feeling like you, you are moving slowly but it feels like this upcoming week you are gonna release all those overwhelming, uh, you know, uh, thought patterns, you know, because you are gonna trust yourself. And I feel like some of you could be even um, starting this new project you had on your mind that your soul possibly could be calling you to do, okay? There is this energy of align your life and the, uh, being called to a new journey, okay? And birthing new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. I feel like with this energy, not only it's about the raising your vibration, shifting into new reality, but also it's the side message for all my uh, star seeds. Also with the visual visualization energy that you can create everything you put your mind to. Okay. You have the power of creation. Some of you are truly uh, gifted and creative individuals again, you know. Maybe you had been feeling cornered by the universe because you are, you had been ignoring some sort of a uh, soul calling, you know. You could be feeling like it wasn't true, it was on your mind, you know, like. Um, but actually, you are gonna take the leap of faith you know, embracing your true self, releasing this energy that uh, what if I'm gonna choose this direction of my life and people are gonna judge me, 
my family are gonna um, my family won't possibly support me people are gonna bully me people are gonna send me negative energies people are gonna sabotage my journey you're gonna release all of that because not everybody are is meant to live the same lifestyle especially if you are the star seed energy you know our journey is much much different okay and maybe becoming again more confident and standing on your power you know and starting to be more aligned with your higher self your intuition and the universe okay and you are gonna take this uh, leap of faith whatever your soul is calling you when it comes to your creative endeavors maybe some of you have been feeling called to uh, let's say if you uh, feel like you are meant to have the, your, your public recognition but you had been holding yourself back uh, that maybe people around you wouldn't accept what what you would love to do you know what your uh, what brings your heart joy you know uh, there is this energy of if uh, whether you love your work or you don't love your work if you uh, you know enjoy doing what you are doing like if you work for money or if you work because you love what you are doing you know okay let's see messages to all my soul family and star seeds from the universe for the upcoming week's energy what do my star seeds need to know universe what do my star seeds need to know sacred self unleash your spirit express your gifts dance to the again dancing with the rhythm of life with the you know doing this cosmic dance you know going and enjoying the process of the your soul's journey you know embracing all those ups and downs is uh, you know having this more positive mindset trusting in yourself opening your heart for your blessings again third eye okay again uh, building more trust in what you are seeing building more trust in what you are seeing and what you are hearing you know connecting with the divine connecting with your higher self okay and again uh, expressing your gifts okay some of you again uh, if you had been feeling called to maybe you know uh, create your own uh, maybe channel create your own social platform connect to your soul tribe express your gifts maybe you are a creative person but and you want to express your creativity ideas your paintings whatever you are into in general okay just do it have faith in yourself because it comes from your soul okay what this upcoming week is gonna bring to my star seeds divine director in in intervention and purpose it's again my crown chakra energy because it's have a purple aura okay and divine intervention is occurring and know that you are being guided happiness is your purpose again i feel like some of you had been this uh, had been cornered or or felt cornered because you had to do the self reflection about what makes you happy in this life okay and embracing your divine destiny because you are meant to be happy okay you are meant to embrace the purpose the energy the uh, you know the uh, work that brings joy to your heart you know doing something that brings joy to your heart downloads and understandings so many third eye energies are here you know I, again and with the ohm energy like first message was the crown chakra energy connecting with the divine and building trust okay downloads and understandings <laughs> truth is being revealed deep insights are coming from heaven and astral realm some of you could be could be having this vivid dreams or download some of you could be 
maybe this upcoming week are gonna see too many orbs flying around okay you know it's not an illusion you are not crazy for what you are seeing or hearing you know like you are not crazy trust in yourself and open your heart okay so for some of you some sort of a mental clarity is coming to you by the divine and don't ignore whatever you are seeing okay whatever you are being guided to do voice of truth voice of truth stand strong focus on your purpose <laughs> release the fear of persecution and speak your truth again don't dim to fit in okay like be unapologetically yourself you are being unapologetically yourself being confident you know releasing this fear of uh, like what if people are gonna tell me that i am crazy you know like what if people are gonna boo me you know like you know it's not your problem okay like it's your purpose you know like and who is not crazy <laughs> in this lifetime do you know how many crazy beings i have come across in this lifetime that me being this weirdo of the society have felt like i was the only normal person in this environment you know heart awakening again awaken to acceptance and divine love give and receive in balance i love these energies i love this acceptance and acceptance look at this one more messages for the star seeds from the universe care and compassion choose to be loved do what is right for everyone involved offering a helping hand uh, I feel like uh, some of you, I feel like if you need to, uh, you know, if you need uh, the support from somebody, you may just simply need to ask, okay? I feel like also you may ask actually by speaking your truth, by sharing your voice with the people with a certain collective is actually gonna help, be helpful to so many people, okay? And psychic insight I feel like for so many of you you are gonna embrace your gifts spiritual gifts okay also um, maybe not only embracing them also your intuition is gonna be raised as well you know like if you had been uh, if you had been having clouded vision for the you know certain amount of time it's gonna be released the next week you are gonna have so much mental clarity okay and if you are gonna see the crowds around flying because it's gonna be the sign from the universe as well okay your third eye is open see truth for what it is follow your intuition again some of you had been ignoring for some of you had been ignoring your intuition for a while you know maybe even for years you didn't want to embrace your true mission in this lifetime true pur true purpose because i feel like some of you had been scared of being judged being called crazy being uh, facing hate of people but actually it's all in your mind actually you will help so many people my loves okay keep being unapologetically yourself let people call you crazy like who cares i can give you a personal example since it's not a pick a card it's just the energy of the you know of all my collective of star seeds okay and whoever is meant to hear you know i have never um you know i uh, when i started this channel i have never um you know um try to you know sell myself to people like i am this much gifted person i can do this i can do this i am this i am this you know i i am uh, i offer people those helps you know uh, i in the past about like five six years ago there was this uh, a community of witches let's say and spiritual gifted people like 
I have always been this, um, you know, even though people may uh, think that Leos are attention whores, you know, but my Scorpio rising has always been the dominant um, energy of mine, you know, of my personality. And I have always been allergic to the attention, to be honest, because in the past uh, and i feel like one of those reasons of me gaining weight for the last five years was the uh, because uh it it has become my defense mechanism because uh i had been a fat kid and i had always faced bullies in my childhood like you look like an elephant you look like a farm cow you look like a pig etc etc like so many fat people faced so after me being 14 years old i have start i had started losing weight and when i um when i started uh, studying at the university like i'm not exaggerating like i truly i'm not exaggerating okay but truly ugh, like i don't want to say <laughs> let me say dozens okay but it's more it was more like my past is too dark okay <laughs> like so many men were into me uh, and chasing after me and i really i had always been like a bougie i like to wear truly high heels because i felt insecure about my height okay and you know i always love to wear this makeup you know um the pinup style of 60, 60s was my one of my f favorites you know and you know and for no reason just because so many men were after me unfortunately girls around started hating on me for no reason like i didn't i did no harm and i actually was a weirdo and I was an introvert. I didn't ask for those attentions. Like I, I didn't want to. You know, like I didn't do it in purpose. And in the streets, I have started. You know, people have started, had started catcalling me. You know, and all those toxic attention and from social media, etc. Like too many toxic, crazy people I had to face in the past. And once in 2015, my my uh, visa application for the you know um, for the italy uh you know for my master's degree had been de uh, you know reje rejected i fell into depression because they had no relevant uh, reason for me to reject the reason one of, the only reason was this uh, me living in islamic country i could you know imagine those person having truly messy uh, you know mental health becoming even worse and playing uh, you know falling into this victim mentality even more and drawing in this you know like darkness like why all i have always why i always have to face such uh, difficulties in my life you know like why me kind of an energy you know and I gained 20 kilograms. It was the first time that in six months, uh, in six months, I gained 20 kilograms. So once I have become, mm, a, you know, um, overweight, when I went out and, and nobody started looking at me, nobody started catcalling me and all the stuff. And actually something in my subconsciousness has come into this realization that if I am being fat, it means that nobody is gonna disturb me. You know, nobody is gonna uh, send me those uh, disgusting, lustful energies that I don't ask for. And I could walk in the streets in, with in peace, you know, like nobody would ever bother me in this way. And I feel like, uh, like after those, uh, you know, uh, thought patterns i feel like uh, losing weight have started being difficult for me because th there was this idea part of me had this idea that if i'm overweight nobody is gonna bother me you know like i can uh, walk in the streets in peace you know nobody is gonna look at my ass or you know 
uh, like anyways you know what I'm trying to say <sighs> yes like uh, what I'm trying to say that what I was trying to say <laughs> okay so yes and so I had my spiritual awakening in November 2015, you know, I had been soul searching and faced so many scammers, fake spiritual people, fake, you know, witches and all the stuff like uh, we do have nowadays. And yes, there, like once a aura reader guy found me, like uh, you have this purple aura color and so on and I said that like it was true and he knew me before me my spiritual awakening okay and after me my awakening I don't know like I didn't ask for it you know like I I have never ever wanted to have this group of people and chatting and always you know I don't even respond back to my friends even now you know like I'm not ambitious about talking and chatting with so many people and being the center of attention. And I, uh, after a while, like he was calling me the leader, of, he was calling me the queen and all the stuff. And of course it attracted uh, again, the kind of people who first uh, took the advantage of me, wanted to take the advantage of me, who, try to appear as somebody who is flattering who was kissing my ass just to have the power that i have actually it's very dangerous thing and my third eye has been in the sleep world since 2017 you know all the, my channelings are just the drop in the ocean like it's nothing for me for you know because what uh, after going this uh, energy through awakening like i don't know what other new age spiritualists are talking about because uh, those energies never align with my truth and my personal experience and that's why i always tell people and encourage people to work on their energies and express you know uh we uh, go through their own journey and see with their own reality and perception you know not reading any books like vast majority of the books are just a scam lies you know like uh, I don't want to trigger anybody I I'm just telling you, you and I'm again telling you that I'm not I'm not claiming that I'm better than anybody or anything like even me trying to be <laughs> the humblest of myself still makes some people think that I am trying to tell them I'm being better than them. It's not true. I'm just telling them stop scamming people, stop misguiding people. Okay, you if you haven't seen anything, if you just learned from the Google or certain books, you have no right. You can share people, but you can't. Uh, make people believe that it's the truth just because you were uh, let's say convinced that it was truth okay so yeah also uh, my point was that you know people who were smiling at my face and being flattering actually talking shit behind my back you know and um and so uh one of the girls started screenshotting everybody's messages and sending to me like uh, he's t calling you schizophrenic you know the guy who calls me the queen and the leader talks shit behind my back that i have never even asked him to even you know to show me off to his community like i didn't care about those people you know teenagers So, there was this uh, certain period of my life that I promised myself never ever teach and spend even, you know, waste my time on teaching people because people had, uh, the only reason people wanting to go through awakening was because, <clears throat> let's say, 
having the power then proving me that they are better and smarter than me and I have never aimed even trying to tell somebody that I am better and smarter than you you know I I always learn new things from different people as well you know like it's not true okay like uh, I promised myself not to teach and me embracing this journey because my true journey is not this reading you know like <clears throat> it's <clears throat> it's actually preparing this collective of people uh, to spiritual awakening and believe or not my life has always been in danger the certain um, powers communities know who we are who my kind are and they all those virus stuff and things are actually because of the reason of actually you know they lost the battle okay and in two weeks they this uh, if we lost the battle we are gonna kill the entire humanity was the plan b for them believe or not and i predicted this you know i i just didn't have a channel at that time so messages for the star seeds i'm telling you for some of you some uh somebody is having feeling uh towards you okay you might you may be receiving gifts but uh also please be careful of the scammers lying and manipulating person i'm gonna clarify this later messages for my star seeds collective energy universe i'm telling you somebody has feelings for you uh, this person could be your divine counterpart because it's the main male energy, okay? This person may want to offer their loyalty, okay? And for some of you, um, not gonna resonate for, for everybody, okay? For some of you, um, if you are a single parent, the father of your child could be wanting to um, reunite with you who could could possibly who could possibly deceive you in the past okay let's see what's going on with my star seeds this upcoming week universe What's this deception energy? What's this lies and manipulation is about universe? Okay, oh the emperor has jumped reverse. E okay. What's this lies is about? Two of swords. The high priestess. The Wheel of Fortune, the Hermit, and Nine of Cups. One more. Thir three of Pentacles, the Judgment, the Fool, and the Ten of Cups. And the Six, six of Cups. <sighs> Somebody from your past is coming back and it feels like you have been intuitively feeling this okay this person wants to wants reconciliation and new beginnings with you this person may uh, call you or message you and uh, you know offer their apology to you and ask for new beginnings and I, I hear closure okay for some of you you might be getting this person reaching out to you actually could be giving for some of you closure okay and I now understand why the no energy was there be careful okay and I feel like some of you are gonna say no because the Emperor has jumped reversed and there was this energy of deception and lies because this person may not appear who they um, show them to be you know like 
they may put a mask of a very successful mature grounded provider uh, etc you know this person can sell you lies like i'm gonna give you this give you this you know may promise you this all for the bright future uh, but it's not true okay and uh, actually i feel like uh, they could be imagining themselves with marrying you again i'm telling you for some of you it could be your baby father coming back to you like uh, let's make it official maybe you know let's uh, live in the same house let's uh come together but i feel like this person in the past broke your heart broke your trust and there, there could have been even um uh, cheating going on with the you know three three energy involved you in triangle some sort of and made you feel betrayed and actually hurt your feelings too much okay <sighs> messages for my star seeds for this upcoming week universe two of wands four of cups prince of wands uh, I feel like for some of you, you are gonna uh, feel indecisive about like Should I take him back? Should I not? Should I take him back? Should I not? The message from the universe is that this person hasn't changed their ways They are still being... That's why the Emperor has jumped reverse because He is actually the Knight of, Pen um, the Knight of Wands, okay? He is still an F boy. He is still gonna do whatever he did to you in the past. Okay, and you know it. Don't lie to yourself, my uh, star seeds. Okay, and I feel like for some of you, you are not gonna receive this offer. Okay, because with the wheel energy, again, closure, it's over for you. And that's why you had been feeling this calling from your soul that choose a new direction okay what else uh, you may tell to my uh star seeds energy okay universe what else you can tell to my star seeds walk away walk away from this person five of wands because this i also hear avoid conflicts this person may not take your rejection to um maturely and may start to uh, get you into fight arguments just walk away and say peace out okay choose a new direction that's why you had been feeling cold to yeah let's see what else you can tell to my uh, star seeds i feel like there is this heavy energy of saying no to somebody because the devil this person is not your divine counterpart okay it's just false you know how some people are calling false twin flame or you know this person is karmically involved with you again for some of you you this person wants you back because of the child for another group of you there could be an age gap or this person could have triggered your inner child as well okay and i it's just the heavy energy that don't trust this person don't trust this person don't set yourself free choose a new direction this person does not serve your highest good okay this person hasn't changed his ways okay ace of pentacles for some of you money coming could be a uh, you know unexpected money could be coming for you and the lovers let me see let me see what's going on with the some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn okay look at this seven of swords could you please universe uh, clarify what this lovers and the devil is about four of swords eight of pentacles has jumped reverse and the death listen this person is not gonna change their ways and this relationship is not gonna work out unless this person truly 
is gonna embrace the healing and go through transformation unless this person is gonna start changing their ways or their old ways okay this person i feel like in the past some of you could have been the only person investing on the relationship and this person was not doing anything for you okay that's why there was this imbalance of the uh, you know give and take in this connection okay and that's why it's it doesn't work okay <clears throat> let's see the alchemist this person is manipulative and again seven of swords don't trust this person don't trust this person whoever is coming whoever cheated on you and involved in a third party in the past my collective okay and this for some of you this could be your even baby father you know like if you are a single parent don't trust this person this person hasn't changed okay this person is still manipulative this person look at this the devil was the seven of swords and the alchemist this person is a manipulator and you could have been trying to say that no maybe this person is gonna change maybe you know um if you have a child let's say you know like uh, it's the parent of my child, you know, uh, maybe I should give him another chance and make it work and the universe is telling you that it's not gonna work. This person hasn't changed, okay? This person could possibly wanting you back because of the physical intimacy, because they feel uh, bound to you energetically, but actually if you if you gonna give this person a chance and let you into your bed, this person could be attaching you some juju with the devil energy. Be, please be careful, okay? And embrace this queen of swords energy, okay? Like, you are divinely guided, okay? Some of you, it's time for you to see the truth, okay? This person is still gonna um, play around, okay? It's not your uh, soulmate. Let me see. That's why it could be universe is insti insisting uh, that please, please listen to your intuition. This person hasn't changed, okay? Let's see what this upcoming week is gonna bring to my star seeds messages from the universe to my star seeds door to personal healing and happiness and the victory okay you are gonna end up being a winner keep focusing on your self development keep focusing on your healing okay and you will be successful action anxiety upcoming week energy messages from the universe for my star seeds the thinking woman again Embrace the energy of the Queen of Swords, okay? Be logical. Be logical this time. The man holding a coin. First chakra. Again, root chakra energy. Let me see. Second chakra. I'm telling you, please, please be careful, okay? Adjust some possibilities. All right, all right, I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you. And in the beginning of the reading, I was telling you that somebody is having feelings on you because I saw the King of Cups energy, okay? And the man holding a heart has come again. I feel like uh, some of you are gonna make a choice between two people. You may be having a new person who is your true counterpart. And that's why uh, there could be the energy of the devil and the lovers, okay? Maybe uh, two people for the next week is gonna uh, come towards you and take the action, maybe pursue you, okay? And one of them is a karmic person and you know this person, whoever uh, lied and cheated on you in the past is, a, is your karmic person who betrayed you, who involved you in a third party, who took your love for granted, right? And I always say that some people are energetic vampires. If this person depletes your energy, he is not your true soulmate, he is not your counterpart. Your true counterpart is gonna heal and evolve you, okay? 
uh, some people are having truly twisted idea of love connection and that's why they are being stuck in their ways and being their own worst enemies uh, thinking that they are in this twin flame journey but actually they are not they just are having too much hard time facing themselves like why do I chase after somebody who is emotionally unavailable and why I am chasing after somebody who doesn't love me and who um, uh, who disrespects me in so many ways, you know, and some, uh, you know, one person is your karmic, one person is your soulmate, okay, and also somebody is gonna offer you this security and door to personal healing and happiness has come again. I feel like for some of you, uh, some of you could have lost your passion after dealing with karmic partner in the past, uh, your, um, you uh, i feel like again some of you could have lost your passion also also lost your hope on love it feels like some of you felt uh, truly hopeless you know uh, whoever karmic person was this person depleted your energy because you gave too much and your sacral chakra was imbalanced okay and that's why you are gonna balance out your sacral and root chakras and be this um, be your own parent in the first place you are gonna provide yourself with the security that you have always needed as a child being as uh, you know like you are gonna um, as the inner you you know like the safety that your inner child always needed okay Some of you are, uh, you know, the thinking man. Magician in the mirror. And the third chakra, Archangel Camille. So uh, it feels like in the upcoming week, uh, vast majority of you are gonna be focused on balancing out and healing your lower chakras, okay? Like your uh, root chakra, um, sacral chakra, and third chakra, solar plexus, and door to value. Again, some of you are gonna receive some sort of unexpected money, okay? And all tied up, patience. Again, trust your intuition, okay? Angel of love. Some of you are manifesting a new love, okay? Some of you are manifesting a new love. And please, please uh, don't take uh, whoever, you know, betrayed you in the past back. This person hasn't changed, okay? This person is gonna still mess with your energy. Still, you know, uh, you know why the woman always uh, has this sacral chakra imbalance? Because the masculine energy doesn't give back. And so, and only let's say especially after this physical union okay and that's why people are always screaming that please be careful you choose to you know unite your body with because it's not about a pleasure it's also about it's a very sacred energy okay by sleeping with this person some of you could have even attached some sort of you know physical uh, issues okay also depleted your energy made you lose your passion made you feel insecure uh, less attractive uh, also uh, you know your receptiveness you know it feels like you have become more of a masculine figure of the relationship than this person why do you need a bitch boy by your side in the first place okay like uh, you know, I don't understand the mentality of some women like uh, being like it's not love, you know, like if you too much obsess over a p person, it's not about love. Something with within you is uh, craving this validation of the person, you know, like this person wanting you makes you feel wanted, but it's, it's actually it's actually toxic, you know, and again like I don't understand why some people are treating certain men that it's the only dick existing in this universe like 
you may have too many choices once you allow yourself to have you know I'm not um, talking about polyamory I am talking about not being uh, stuck on a toxic person and open yourself up to better possibilities okay indecision you will have to make some sort of a choice the woman hold, uh, holding a coin and deceit and walking away look at this you are gonna make a decision about walking away from somebody who is toxic AF, okay? Because right now, I feel like this person could be wanting back because uh, you have stabilized your finances, unfortunately. This person could be a user. <laughs> That's why he had been depleting your energy, okay? With the angel of strength. Some of you may be needing to connect your angels as well, okay? And yin and yang again. This upcoming week is gonna encourage you to um, balance out your energy and your life, embracing the energy of peace, trusting yourself even more, empowering yourself because abundance is coming and uh, if you start open, uh, opening your heart to true love and many possibilities, you are going to attract actually somebody who is your vibrational match, okay? Be more confident on yourself because you are worthy of being loved and being nurtured by a partner, okay? What you don't deserve is being disrespected, being cheated on, being depleted, you know, not receiving anything. But deceptions, lie, lies, manipulations, you know. Don't waste your time on somebody who doesn't, who is not worthy of this, you know. And set yourself free, okay? So yeah, please let me know if those messages are resonating with you. I hope you are having an amazing week this week. Have a blessed week. You know, um, love yourselves. Take well care of yourselves. You know, open your heart, your true being for better and healing possibilities. Embrace all the blessings because you deserve them, okay? And walk away from the people not serving you why would you settle for less uh, if you can have much better okay so see you next time